I grew up in Ripon, Wisconsin, and uh, when I was little, I really didn't have a, a exact goal in mind other than to uh, um, have fun in what I was doing. And but I had uh, good parents who always said, "Try whatever you want to, and something you'll um, something will come up that you'll like." I have three sisters, and one of them that was older than I went off to get a math degree, but she was more in the Bachelor of Arts where she was learning uh, statistics and things like that, whereas I was more interested on the engineering side, um, maybe through guidance counselor help and good teachers. And uh, so that's why I decided I'd go to an engineering school instead and kind of played around in math, but then kind of ended up in industrial engineering and operation research. So the math kind of led to doing, learning about things where you could apply math. I actually was born and raised in uh, Bulgaria, that's in Eastern Europe, and um, I was able to come here just a couple of years after the Berlin Wall fell, and that was a catalyst for so many changes in Eastern Europe. If that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be here today, so I'm very thankful for the opportunity that that created for me. Actually, the, the career that I have now was nowhere near to where I was when I was a kid. I actually wanted to do something with English language, be that um, you know, an interpreter um, or uh, do a lot of literary analysis. Once things started changing in Eastern Europe, though, I discovered that I had a passion for business. I actually wanted to focus on something that um, created business value, you know, for consumers or, or business customers. And this was such a new field, you know, in Bulgaria. I knew the moment I set foot in this country that I wanted to go and get a, a business degree. Basically, when I was younger, my dad got me into electronics and all that when I was really little. Before I even started kindergarten, he taught my, me my truth tables, you know, zero and zero, zero, zero and one is zero, et cetera. Um, he used to always tell me, you should be an engineer. And I was like, oh, no, <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but no, I'm not gonna be an engineer. I didn't know what I wanted to do exactly. When I was in uh, high school, physics was one of my favorite classes. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go into physics in college. And I started college, went to physics, did not like it at all. And I actually changed colleges. And when I changed colleges, I was looking at different majors. What do I want to do? And it's actually an interesting story. I saw a commercial on TV. It was an AT&T commercial, of all things, where this guy was up on the mountaintop and he had a watch and like took a phone call. And this was like back in, I don't know, 93-ish. And um, it said, coming soon from AT&T or something like that. And I remember saying, who does that kind of thing? And of course, they told me, engineers. <laughs> And I was like, oh, all right, he was right, damn him. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to school for electrical engineering with an emphasis in telecommunications. Actually, I started out at the University of Delaware. I played, uh, played college basketball. And then I transitioned from Delaware to a small town called Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania, where I finished up my degree in finance. Um, after that, I ended up uh, fin going straight through to my graduate degree at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and then from there, I ended up taking my first job in telecom. I think my, my mom and my grandmother probably helped me out a little bit because they're strong women. So we weren't given that thing of, you're a girl, you can't do this. So we weren't told that we couldn't do anything, and I really appreciate that because when I got out into the world, I didn't understand and didn't expect that I would be told no. So when people did tell me no, I looked at them and said, I can if I want to. So I, um, I pursued the technology field when it was time to work on programs and coding in college. I was right in there with a bunch of guys and the fact that I was the only girl probably escaped me for a little bit um, until later on because I was working on my work. I am from Omaha, Nebraska <laughs> originally. Um, and I've always had an interest in math and science. And I was fortunate in that my parents kind of pushed me that way too. So I decided I wanted to go to the East Coast 
for college, so I went to University of Pennsylvania and decided to major in chemical engineering. My dad was a, um, a nuclear engineer, um, and my mother was a teacher, so maybe it was a combination of the two that they were really there to kind of push me down that direction. I've always had an affinity for doing things like crossword puzzles and that sort of thing, and my friends always said that I gave good advice and, and they would come to me, you know, with problems and things like that. So the only other thing I was thinking about at the time was psychology. Um, but I, I wasn't as strongly interested in that because although I would give a lot of advice to my friends, they very rarely followed it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I couldn't see myself in a career long term where I would sit around and, and dispense a lot of advice and see people go off and never really take it. So. Um, you know, again, that's where, um, you know, the, the attractiveness of technology was um, being able to um, solve these puzzles, right? Um, that's what um, computer programming seemed like to me when, you know, especially, you know, at a high school level, it was, it was all about solving these, these puzzles, you know. I grew up in Tucson, Arizona. Um, I played sports, um, did softball. We spent our days in the pool, our nights playing ball because it's too hot to play during the day. Um, to growing up, honestly, I wanted to be a writer. Um, I found out English wasn't my strong suit, <laughs> so I decided to, to try some other avenues. Math and science really, really stuck with me right away. And then once I uh, got my hands on a computer, I found that technology was, was really my future. I took a class in high school and I found that we were working projects and I'd be done within about five minutes and everyone else is still working. And I'm like, well, this kind of clicks. This makes sense to me and this is fun and I like going through and troubleshooting and helping other people with it. And I'm like, this is what I want to do. 